My name is Brian Abbott and I'm the founder of 310antiques.com. So we're going to talk about uh, movie posters today, Hollywood memorabilia or entertainment memorabilia, but movie posters. Uh, movie posters are promotional items that were issued to movie theaters generally, um, uh, just just for obvious purposes to, to, to market a movie. And they came in lots of different sizes. Uh, what we think of as a movie poster, which is what most of us think of as, as a poster size poster is um, called the one sheet. So they had one sheets and you could get a two sheet or a three sheet or an even even larger which just meant you just take that size and multiply it times two or three and uh, so on to get m larger and larger versions of the poster. There's also something called an insert and inserts are uh, long, just think of uh, making a movie poster narrower, um, you know, by, by maybe a third, and that's about the shape of your average uh, insert. And then you have something that's more common than those, which is called a lobby card. And so uh, a production on a particular movie, uh, the, they, would, they, would, they would release a series of lobby cards that had photographed scenes from the movie and and uh, and those were, as they say, they're a lobby card. You'd see them inside the lobbies as you walked into a theater in little glass display cases attached to the walls. And, and so we have a couple of examples of lobby cards here today, a little better than average lobby cards. Um, uh, this is uh, called Flirtation Walk, the movie is. Uh, late 1930s, if I recall correctly. Um, you know, it's a colorful, uh, military-oriented um, uh, a uh, lobby card. What makes this a little bit unusual is he was starring Ruby Keeler, who was a popular actress, um, well known for her uh, a string of musicals she did with Dick Powell, um, and uh, and this is signed by Ruby Keeler. It says "Best wishes, Ruby Keeler" um, up here, in, and then the top uh, left hand corner, and. Um, uh, that that adds some value, makes it interesting. It really would drive the value of this uh, lobby card up far above what most, uh, you know, the, the identical lobby card would be without a signature. Um, so perhaps uh, this would be a $50, $70 lobby card, but with a signature, uh, and probably several hundred dollars. Um, so that's, that's one interesting um, uh, lobby card. I also have one here that is... Um, uh, from the moving, uh, movie You Were Never Lovelier, and that's uh, Rita Hayworth and Fred Astaire. Um, and this is um, signed by Fred Astaire also, which is kind of neat. Um, and, and, and it's a good looking lobby card with uh, both of the uh, leads in it, uh, Rita and, and Fred here. And sometimes in lobby cards you, would, you, would, you wouldn't have uh, one of the leads in it, but um, um, uh, so this is signed by Fred Astaire, and again, this is something, uh, the movie, the lobby cards for this movie are fairly collectible. It might be $75 or $150 lobby card, but uh, you put that signature on there, and all of a sudden it's a five or $600 lobby card. So um, uh, here's, here's some examples of Hollywood movie posters and, and um, you know, why you would go from one low value to a high value, such as a signature. Um, another thing to look at with uh, movie posters is, uh, um, you know, the most collectible ones are generally uh, science fiction movies, uh, horror movies, that kind of thing. Early ones uh, from the 19, uh, late 30s through the 1950s. Uh, those are probably some of the best lobby cards to have.